Well, here's the view up in Glacier National Park where some of us did see the northern lights yesterday, especially saw some photos over towards Kalispell, but we did have some clouds that moved in late last night. And uh, we are going to continue to see that cloud cover pushing across north central Montana for the rest of the morning. We're looking at temperatures in the mid and upper 50s. So it's a warm start to our day. If you remember last week, we were waking up each morning in the 40s. 59 right now for Fort Benton and Great Falls down towards Helena. We're waking up to about 48 in Lincoln, for, uh, 58 up in Augusta. So it's going to be a warm afternoon. This will actually likely be the warmest afternoon for the week uh, here in north central Montana. And we're going to continue to keep some shower and storm chances in play with this low pressure system nearby. Uh, so tomorrow is the best chance for some storms throughout the week. And we'll continue to see those storm chances all the way through Friday. With this high pressure ridge strengthening into the weekend, that's going to help to clear us out and heat our temperatures up. We'll be back close to 90 degrees in some areas by Sunday. So that summer like heat is making a return for just a bit. But looking at those temperature trends for this week, we're down to 81 by Wednesday, jumps up to 85 on Thursday with another round of storms on Friday. So it will cool off, but you can see those temperatures start to climb throughout the weekend. Now our winds are going to be a bit gusty in eastern Montana today. We'll see 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts for the high line and really across the rest of eastern Montana. We'll look at 10 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts for north central Montana and then those winds will begin to diminish as we head into tonight. Now we are tracking the risk for a few of those storms to turn severe today. So for the areas in dark green, that's where we have the best chance of an isolated severe storm, mainly from Cutbank over to Haver and then down to Fort Benton. So those areas just be on the lookout. Some of those could contain some hail and gusty winds and then a more widespread risk tomorrow from Haver to Lewistown and then over to the east for places like Glasgow. That's where we could see some strong wind gusts, lightning and a few downpours as well. So let's time all of that out. We'll see some storms developing later this morning around southwest Montana. Those will track northeast into parts of north central Montana. They're going to be pretty widely scattered and then going into tomorrow, we'll see another round of showers and storms developing moving from southwest to northeast and they will become pretty strong into the afternoon. So here's five o'clock. Most of us are looking at some of those scattered showers and storms and then those will begin to wind down as we head past sunset tomorrow and we'll clear things out for the overnight. But we're not expecting a ton of precipitation with these storms. Generally still less than a tenth of an inch all the way through Wednesday morning. A few areas that get in on some of those stronger storms could pick up over a tenth of an inch uh, up to about a quarter of an inch. But here's those high temperatures for today. 85 for Helena, 85 in Townsend, 84 for Augusta. We'll see partly cloudy skies close to 90 degrees in Fort Benton, 83 for Lewistown and Stanford. And then up into the high line, we're looking at low to mid 80s as well, up to about 89 for Haver. And then for northeastern Montana, you're making a run for 90 degrees today with a lot of sunshine. And that extended forecast shows those temperatures cooling off for the middle part of the week before we do see some warmer temperatures going into the weekend. Make sure to stick around. We're going to be taking a look at those northern lights right after the break. From MTN News.